Hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaWay. In today's video, we will discuss about powder media filling. So, how to simulate media fill on a powder filling line? And this is a area of interest, area of concern. And I got lot of queries about how we can simulate a media fill on a powder filling line. So, let us understand. Uh, there are four types, four ways which can be done. So, please watch all four types. It will be interesting video, knowledge sharing for you as well as knowledge gaining for myself. So let us start with the first uh, type or first way. Uh, first way is some, some filling machines are equipped with a filling liquid as well as powder. So same setup, same setup of the powder filling using the same setup we can fill the liquid also. However, the accuracy of the filling may not be the equivalent or uh, that accurate as with the powder but it will suffice the purpose of filling the liquid you may have to have certain uh, different hopper so powder will have hopper and liquid will need some uh, vessel or small buffer tank so that that replacement will be there but otherwise same same setup we can fill the uh, liquid media on the powder filling line so the, some machines are with such capabilities so that is one way to do it is to uh, replace the powder with liquid media so that is one way to do it second type of filling machines they come with the both the uh, facilities liquid and powder so powder is the primary purpose and liquid setup is only given to fill the liquid media so that will be the additional setup on the same filling machine it will remain there there will be some adaptions we, we need to modify something we need to install something that will be part and parcel of the initial machine initial qualification setup but we will be using that liquid part only when we are going for a media field simulation so in that way you have to simulate everything as per your powder but you will be filling liquid you will, you will be using the liquid setup part so that is the another way the advantage here is you don't need to modify anything you have the setup you use that setup you only directly fill the liquid you don't have to use the powder setup part but of course your entire activity sequence of the activity pre-activity post-activity non-viable particle counts your simulations your aseptic intervention should remain same as per the powder media filling only change will be you will be filling liquid and not the powder your container size should also remain the practically the same so this is how uh, this is the second way we can do the media fit. advantage here is that you are not changing much on the machine you are using the same machine setup and you just uh, replace the powder with liquid media of course the fill volume uh, the frequency of interventions the duration of the interventions the operator similar that all rules remains the same as per the liquid media there are no modification no changes into the basic requirement of the media field which is we do into the liquid media field starting from the assembly starting from the operator simulation number of interventions how to do it your em frequency yes of course em frequency in the powder is different that you do nvpc pre and post because when you are filling the powder powder itself will generate to the nvpc non viable particulate count so that's not a feasible way but of course for liquid media field you can additionally do it but it's not required practically as it will be an additional simulation which you are not going to do in an actual powder filling simulation or actual product filling with powder so this is the second way third way is to fill powder into the container followed by the liquid on the same setup so what you are doing you are using a placebo powder you may not use the product powder you use sterile placebo powder to replace the product powder so in the in the vial you fill the partial quantity of powder followed by the liquid media so same machine setup has the both the facility so you first have to fill the powder and you then you fill the liquid media of course this liquid filling setup will be using only for the media fill and not for your routine so that is another way so you simulate powder filling as well as liquid filling uh, the advantage that you are simulating using the same machine using the same setup just you are additionally adding the liquid so as to liquid media so as to simulate or so as to promote the growth of microorganism within that container so that is one other way to do it uh, media fill 
again the rules and regulations or requirement of the normal media field remains the same here also now fourth way fourth way is to first fill the liquid media and then the powder previously we discussed powder followed by liquid and then here liquid followed by powder of course there is a disadvantage or possibility there when you are filling powder first and liquid after then in powder when liquid falls there is a possibility of powder spillage powder splash onto the body of the container that is a possibility if the powder is fluffy if the powder is uh, easy easy to uh, go in air then if liquid is going inside then there is a possibility that it will it will uh, uh, spill the powder across the body of the container inside uh, another way like liquid followed by powders and uh, both are mixed so that is the fourth way that you first fill the liquid and then fill the powder of course this this will require certain adaptation into the machine uh, it should be a part of machine when you are initially procuring so when you procure a powder filling machine you must consider that you have to simulate media fill on that and and media fill simulation of course will require liquid filling setup so either the same setup should fill the liquid media or you have to add something during the media fill for the media fill or it has inbuilt powder filling and liquid filling capabilities so that you can again use the liquid filling capability during the media fill the sequence can be either or first liquid or a post uh, then after powder or first powder and then the liquid but advisable method will be first liquid then powder so that we will be eliminating the possibility of the powder spillage powder spillage when the liquid is filled inside the uh, powder filled container so this is how we can simulate the filling operation also we have sterile bulk mixing processes when we are using the in your compounding you have two or three sterile bulks you are you are sterile bulk powder mixing with uh, like one is your sterile apa then sterile excipients and you are mixing in isolator or under lf or in a manufacturing gear specifically designed for this sort of mixing process then in media fill you have to simulate the placebo powders substitute sterile powders and then it that has to be converted into liquid media it has to be dissolved into the liquid media to see your manufacturing process sterile manufacturing process does not introduce contamination so for the simulation of the media fill uh, for the bulk sterile bulk processing it is it is the way we, we can do it the details or detail guidance on this is provided in uh, pda uh, for the aseptic process simulation you can refer to that it will be very helpful for a detailed knowledge and you can also refer to the usp and other chapters which which talks on the media field and of course the guidance from industry 2004 as well as updated unx1 which is released in august 23 to this year so these are the few documents you can refer hope this small video will be useful for you to understand how powder uh, we can how can we simulate the media fill for the powder filling sterile powder filling line hope this helps thank you thank you very much thank you very much for watching my video if you like you can subscribe to my channel thank you thanks a lot